My name is Vaishnavi Sangam and today we are going to learn how to solve this top layer. If you do not know how to solve this top layer, first you have to solve the bottom layer and then the middle layer. The link of the tutorial on how to solve these two layers is in the description below. So don't forget to check that out if you don't know. And I'll also leave it up on the card. So you might have ended up with four different situations. The very first condition is when you have a single white center right here and no edge yellow pieces are in splits. So this is the algorithm that we are going to do. This side is going to be your front. This is going to be your top. The front, the top, the right. Now top inverse, right inverse and front inverse. So this way we'll have a yellow line like this. So if you have actually ended up in this situation in the first place itself, this is what we are going to do. We're going to take a front, we're going to take right we are going to take a top, a right inverse, a top inverse and a front inverse like this. So this way you end up with the white cross like this. So the third condition would be if you have a opposite L like this. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to take a front, a top, a right, a top inverse, a right inverse and a front inverse like this. This is the fourth condition that we have, if you're lucky if you have this. But if you don't, remember this is what you have to do to actually reach this position. This is where we want to reach. So now that we have a yellow plus like this, our next step is going to be solving these yellow corners. There might be different conditions to this too. Some might have all the corners solved, some might have none solved, some might have just two of them solved like this and this, or this and this, or some might have just one solved like this. If you have just one solved like this, Put it on your bottom left side like this and look at your cube like this. This is going to be your front side. So this is what we are going to do. So by doing this, some of you might get a full solved yellow side. But if you don't, do this step again by keeping this yellow corner on your bottom left and doing this again. Now that if you have a yellow side like this facing you, the next step will be actually solving it. Do the same step again. There you go. So if you are one of those who have none of this solved, just pick randomly any one side and do the same thing. Now you might end up with something like this or you might also end up with something like this. No matter what you end up, you have to do that process n number of times till you actually solve that. You see? And now I got a yellow on my bottom left. Again on my bottom left. You have to understand that the process that I just showed you is something that you have to keep on doing and doing till you actually solve this. So it's kind of a very trial and error based. As far as the beginner's method is concerned, you have to keep on doing it till you reach the solved yellow side. Now this is not the end, you know that. Our next step is to make sure that the yellow corners that we have solved is actually in its right place. So you might end up with two different situations. One where none of these two sides match, but one where they do match. So if you are one of those who have these two matched, take it to the side where it belongs and put it on your back like this. Now in this condition where you do not have any one of these two sides solved like this, just choose any one side on random. I'll choose this side and put it on my back. So here I have the green green matching and I'll just assume that this is also green and this matches. This is our front side and this is what we're going to do right now. By doing this, we see that the orange side has been solved like this. So we'll try to bring it to its right side. Now for those who already had these two sides solved, we'll just do the same thing again. So remember, for the ones who did not have the two corners matching, you have to do this step twice. And for the ones who had those two corners matching, you just have to do this once, keeping the corners that have actually matched on your back. Remember. Now by doing this, you might end up in three different situations. 
one if your whole cube is solved congratulations you just got lucky but if you didn't then this is what you're going to do the second condition is when you have one side solved and the other three edges don't match and if you're really unlucky none of your edges match so this is what you're going to do so if you have one of your edges matched like this just keep it on your back and observe the three unmatched edges i have a blue here this blue edge must go here this green edge must come here and this red edge must come here so there is a clockwise direction that has to be going here so in that particular case when we have a solved edge we'll keep it on the back remember you need to do a clockwise direction of these edges to solve it first step is to flip the front like this so now go in the clockwise direction like this bring these two things down like this flip this again back up take another clockwise direction and then flip this like this and there you go you have solved the cube so if you are one of those who needs to flip this side in anti-clockwise direction like this take this red here take this orange here and take this blue here keeping the other side solved on your back now when you want to go take an anti-direction swing this is what you will do flip the front take this in the anti-clockwise direction bring these two down flip them like this bring this back up an anti-clockwise motion and then move this twice like this and there you go you have solved it now if you are one of those who have none of the edges solved like this this is what we'll do we'll just pretend that this is solved and keep it on our back and we'll see what is the exchange that we have to do here this red will come here this blue will go here this orange will come here now in this particular case this orange coming here is the only fixing that we can do because this red coming here doesn't fix this side this blue going here doesn't fix this side but this orange going here actually fixes the side so we'll just do that pretending that this is sort so this way this one comes in this place and we'll have one side sort and we'll just go ahead and do what we learned just a few minutes ago there you go this orange side is solved now we'll keep this on our back and see what we have to do in this side we'll take this red right here this blue right here and this green right here so this is a clockwise direction clockwise down up clockwise you've solved it there you go you've solved the top layer and you've actually solved the whole cube good for you so this cube is really inexpensive and good quality so I highly recommend you just go buy this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free. If you like this video, gently tap the blue like button down there and comment down below on any kind of suggestions you would like to give me. You just got like me. Shh. The tutorial on how to solve these two layers is... Is in the... Anything else that you want to say?